Okay, uh, today we're going to work on Derek's uh, 69 Dart GT. Uh, previous videos we put in uh, another transmission because the, the first one was leaking. Uh, we found out the transmission did, doesn't have a shift kit in it. Uh, we were sort of told it was, so we're going to, we got a uh, Transgo reprogramming kit. So we're going to put a uh, shift kit in it. Um, we've done it before. I've done it on my Java. We've done it on the previous transmission in here. So, and it worked great. Stayed it. Uh, we, so we roughly know what it comes. It's pretty simple. You know, the instructions are a little bit tricky, but you basically replace springs, replace valve, valves, some more springs, drill a couple holes, and you're done. Um, problem is you got to pull the bottom out, pull the valve body out, you can do it inside, uh, pull everything out and then bring it out here and we can do everything out on a bench. So that's no problem. Uh, the one problem is usually these kits come, they're a generic kit for a 904 and a 727. Uh, this one only came with a 727 gasket. With the lump. Uh, his old kit, we found two gaskets and they're both 727 so we might have to go find a 904 gasket or see if the old ones from the or this transmission if it's a cork gasket or if it's one of these it might be usable but that's uh we'll figure that out once we get the pan off and everything so uh yeah first thing is jack it up put on jack stands pull the pan off and then we'll uh, show you the rest make a mess yeah without making them well we're gonna make a mess it's gonna be bloody under there hopefully not it's Corey's garage so <laughs> the garage we never really filmed in <laughs> luxury mm -hmm. oh thank you making up a pretty mess yeah uh, the pan's not big enough you know, beggars can't be choosers, Chris, that's all I'm saying. Doing the best that I can. If people would, uh, manufacturers would uh, put drain pan holes in their uh, transmissions, this would be a lot easier. They're, the, it's the manufacturers that are polluting the ground. You know what I would laugh right now? If that pan actually just fell down. <laughs> I would laugh. It's being held on by couple bolts still. Oh. I think you're just letting the gasket hold it on. No, but there's nothing the gasket there's no no sealant or nothing. No on. sealant. Have you guys had the pan off this thing before? Nope. So we, we could be in for a surprise? Yep. Oh yeah. Just if we wanted to leave it as a running unit. Fair enough. Just with our luck with these things, I would have said pull the pan off just to see what's going on. And change. You guys got a new filter at least? Yeah. Okay. Hey, so finally struggled, got it out. Wasn't that actually ba too bad with it on the car. Basically, you take the pan off. Uh, you have to take the hardest part was the. the um, the kick down linkage and the shift linkage on there getting it on there because it's tight with the, the exhaust and all the oil lines and the and the, all the other stuff is in, in the way there you have to get uh, a swivel wrench to get in one side and a long extension with a 3 8 ratchet and the other is just that's the one that took the longest but got that out um, the bottom of it still has a little bit of oil in it so i got a can of brake clean always good to be uh, you have to be clean so the uh, next part is to pop this valve body apart uh, this bottom piece that's the way it basically sits in the car uh, there's a spring that sits in there uh, you take out all those screws uh, this pops off then you take these screws off there's a plate a separating plate here you pop that off and then there's uh 
some springs you replace, there's some uh, valves you replace, uh, you replace this valve right here. I uh, can't get it to work, but yeah, you replace that valve, I believe. Possibly a couple of those springs. Just depends how hard you want it to shift. Um, but we're making this into a sort of street strip, just a hot rod type where you can downshift it into first at any speed, basically. Uh, and you can shift it manually, so. There's a few little modifications in, in this plate here. You gotta drill a couple little holes, pull out a ball bearing, put a ball bearing in, something like that. Just have to go through the instructions. So that's, I'll start pulling it apart and then break clean it and show you what modifications I do to it according to the instructions. Okay, the first thing I gotta do to dis dis disassemble this is pull this off. I believe that's your reverse. It does something. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's for your reverse. It fits in, but this is your shift. This is your shift right here, and this is your kick down. So I gotta pull that off. That's all basically one piece. And to pull that off, there's flip around there's that screw and then there's a screw in there you just got to watch this spring will come off and there might be some other springs in there so I will pull those that one I already broke loose and I've got rags here so nothing will roll away It's a short little guy. It's got to be something else. Ah, there we go, on the top. Right there. And you just gotta watch that it doesn't fly away from you. Shouldn't be doing this one-handed, but my cameraman disappeared on me. Okay, there's the other screw. So two short screws, one long screw. One spring. That's another spring. Okay, so that doesn't come off. That doesn't need to come off, so there's just that. Because I think this needs to come out. Yeah. From what I remember, it only goes in one way, so I'm not too sh worried, but there is ball bearings in here. So that's the only thing I'm worried about. So I might end up uh, flipping it around. Taking off all these flathead screws. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that off camera because you can't hold the camera and do that. So I will get back. Okay, I've got the uh, valve body there separated from the, uh, I don't know what it's called, it's like a bottom plate, I'm not sure, but as you can see, uh, when you if you do this, have this basically upside down, or all these balls might fall apart, fall down out. Um, this one's on a spring, uh, spring comes out can tell that this hasn't has been rebuilt 
Uh, I don't know if you can see in there or on the bottom of the spring, there is, um, it looks like almost grease. That's from someone, whoever rebuilt it, put that in there to hold the spring on. Uh, there's some there too. To hold very, you can do that to hold the balls into, into place, but uh, they're different sizes. I think those ones are all the same size and that one's a larger one. So it's, and then watch out, this valve here can come out now. Um, so it's a good idea, just, I know we're gonna be not using some of these balls. Uh, they're gonna be discarded, but it's a good idea to even take, take a picture of this. Um, if you're not, I've done this a couple times, so, but it's been a while since I've done it, but take pictures. Uh, they don't, in the instructions, they don't even tell you how to take this apart or anything. It just tells you what to do after it's all apart. So the next thing to do is there's a, a steel plate. Uh, take those two screws off. This steel plate can come off. Or those two screws too. Yep. So four screws. That's just like a stiffener, I believe. Um, that can come off. Then we can start just uh, cleaning it with brake clean. Uh, once I get a picture of all the balls, the balls come out. And then I have to pull this off, I believe, still. And then I gotta start. There's instructions what they tell you. Some of these holes you have to enlarge. So they give you drill bits for that. Um, some parts of this, they give you a, a plate to bolt in, a, a drill guide plate, and then you take a drill into there and then the part here you grind you file off too so uh, yeah it's a process I'll try and show as much as I can until those guys get back they're changing tires for our, for a big road trip tomorrow I want to pick up tractor parts yay Springs, more springs, couple drill bits, plate of some sort. This is uh, another drill. This is a drill uh, guide plate. You basically bolt that in and put the bit through that hole and drill it. And this spring is basically a stop for the drill. There's a new valve. This spring goes in. This one's for a 727. We're just going to be using this one. But yeah, use that in the instructions and as long as you're pretty good with stuff like that, you should be okay. Take lots of pictures or video like I do. Okay, so I got it mostly apart. I've got the shift linkage pulled off. I still have a... Uh, valve in there valve in there okay. and that I don't know if I have to take that apart yet uh, but what we're gonna do the first thing to do it says uh, basically check a bunch of holes so there's I think that little hole we got to drill bigger that one we got to drill bigger and I think that one. one of those two I know that one I had to yeah no. So, basically, yeah, go by the instructions. Instructions have a little plate. It's a little confusing, but just study it a little bit, and you should be good. The words of Chris, you should be good? Yep. Oh. So, and we're drilling on a little... Pe that one? Uh, that was... I don't want to screw up. Yep. I'm just looking on the instructions, number... A, a, which is that one. Yeah, beside the triangle here. Beside the triangle. Okay. Drill that to 3 16 okay. I got it. Great, great picture. Okay. Put your hand on. And the 3 16 it comes with three different sizes bits. What happens if you build a quarter inch? Or uh, maybe. Or a weaker shit. Uh, probably harder. And now oh. let's go to half inch. Yep. With your next one, 
Which Next is one is B. Yeah. B. Uh, it says for one two. Sh it's for the one two shift. Don't drill. Uh, okay, we don't do anything. Leave okay. out ball. Okay. Uh, C hole hole C, which is there. C C. I think that's that one. That one. That's one's the number two to three shift. That one gets a uh, point. You drill it to point one four or point one eight seven. Okay, I do it. Bigger is firmer. Yeah, and this so, is the one right there. Yeah, so we'll go bigger. We'll go to the. I'm gonna go three. Is that the three? Feet. Is that the one point? Yep. Okay. One point. Yep. Out. I can show you in color first. Oh yeah. That's, okay. I'm gonna go. Yep. And we're gonna deburr it after two. That's always a good idea. So then D. D, D, D is uh, right, right there. There, yeah, Derek's got it. That says, um, yeah, 3 sixteenths, okay if it's already bigger. Well, it's smaller, so. You're going 3 sixteenths. 3 sixteenths. That's the right one? Yeah. There. Okay, and I think. Got to look at that. That's for if plate has one hole here, drill with three sixteenths. I believe we only have one hole. That is, yes, we only have one hole there. Mm -hmm. So that should be three sixteenths. Uh, yeah, plate has one hole, drill with three sixteenths. Okay, go. Yep. Done. Okay, that's done. And I think I'm gonna deburr it now. Yep. Yeah, I think that we're done with that step. And he's just got a little uh countersink. Just take the edge off. Yep. I'd say probably putting uh furniture to a a gather from a key is probably more difficult than this. Uh yeah, if you don't read well yeah because you don't even have to read the instructions for ikea yeah you do because it's not so crackly built <laughs> you have to you miss a step you're screwed <laughs> also just it tells you what balls to put where and not leave leave them out but all right next step uh working on the valve body itself uh basically not that one that one can stay where the heck is it? Oh, you took it out? No, oh, I took it out. Yeah. That's supposed to... That's for your shifting. Your shift uh, lever goes in there. That gets uh, chucked. We've got a brand new one. It's slightly... Slightly different. I'm not sure what it does, but... It's supposed to shift better. And we got this... Ingenious little... Uh, peg all talk to you about that later uh, but we'll leave this out we'll leave the brand new one out uh, because the next thing is I actually take a file and file a groove like right down there on the outside from top to bottom halfway through the casting don't know what it does but stuff I'm gonna do it and then of course after you do that clean the crap out of there don't don't be afraid of using uh, very liberal on the yeah brake clean of course it's my brake clean so you don't care correct and <laughs> we've done this before and it worked yeah yes and i'm gonna do it away from all that stuff so i don't want to clean that stuff oh you still a disc grinder i thought i was wondering if you take a disc grinding or you maybe it is aluminum eh it is aluminum. Wouldn't take much. Oh. Or is that file too uh, coarse? It might be too coarse. Okay. And there's a lip there I'm trying to get. Okay. Well, yeah. We, we will we show you in a, a second. A better file. Okay, the next uh, thing we got to do is uh, they supply you with this, with this uh, drill guide plate. You just screw it on using two uh, of your screws for the plate. 
and then you uh, drill through that and they give you they give you the drill bit they even give you the depth of how far to go down and they give you a little spring that's basically your stop and you measure that and you drill into it's basically one of these little little passages there it's just under there you drill down take it out and then clean it we already cleaned it once now we'll clean it in oh yeah and there's our uh, grind our notch taken out of there so uh, you want to you're just going to do it on the block of wood yeah I'll do it oh, you lost your spring my right spring there. fell drilled through. Okay, time for the mumbly peg. Yes, that's what it's called in the instructions. You know it's true, you look how serious he was. <laughs> yeah. You put this little spring in, put the ball, and then you jam the mumbly peg in there. What that does is holds the spring in there, and it's not as easy as it looked. There we go, the mumbly peg is in there. Now, got to line up that in with the ball, and then this with this, and watch the mumbly peg doesn't fly out at you. Not sure why it's called mumbly peg, but. Well, they don't tell you how to get the mumbly peg out of there. But there we go. You call, that, you call that the tool of the day? Yeah. That could be like the Simpsons and I'm in a carbon, a carbon rod. Yep. Possibly. Uh, I just got to put washer. And a C-clip. Okay, getting close to finishing, uh, I've put the uh, shift uh, linkage all in, all the balls are in, all the, the shafts are in there. Uh, we left one ball out, Oops, go my instructions. one ball you leave out there, That's according to the instructions, to get a harder shift. That's what we want. Yep, that's what we want. Uh, so I'm going to put the, basically bolt the plate back on, bolt the bottom half back on, then I just got to pull this, once that's done, pull this out, pull a valve out of there, and possibly grind that valve. Um, now that supposedly allows you to downshift it. So we're getting there. You want people to catch your eyes today, Chris. Thanks. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, just taking off this plate. There's a couple valves and a couple springs under there. Just got to find out from the instructions which blew away. There we go. 
which one we gotta take out and grind. Dum -ba -dum -dum -dum. Pictures like that. So let's just take this one out. And uh, optional shift command allows you to manually shift to low gear at any speed. Uh, okay. Skip this page if your governor valve looks like that. Well, my governor does not look like that, so it looks like that. So we have to make it look like that so it says grind grind a bevel get rid of this and grind it off do you want a radius in it yeah okay clearly you're not doing it right hey okay, uh derek went and put that in the mill and basically ground that out lathe lathe yeah same thing and no. so that goes back in there and what does that allow me to do that allows you to if you're going 60 miles an hour or 80 miles an hour or 100 miles an hour put it down into first gear and it'll go and blow up your tranny well yeah or your rear end or your drive shaft might pop out and i'm pretty sure the tranny twing. bad things will probably happen but experiment <laughs> i'm not confirming it i've but had enough problems with this thing that, that's how you do downshifting just for the record, I'm rolling on 26s. It says so on the tire. Nice bling. Yep. Barely. Oh, there's barely. That's how you downshift during, on the highway. You, uh, yeah. and you, when you're going 50 miles an hour and you want to pass someone, you put your foot to the floor and you, sh you, and then you shift it down into first <laughs> and you go. And then that poor Chinese is probably buzzing at 12,000 RPM and yeah. then I hit it second, you're fine. Yeah. First, I wouldn't. No. Yeah, that's why my transmission. Not good. Not good. Yeah. Hey, me and Chris, we were, from my place to here, we were doing 110 mile an hour, 115 in a javelin. Just flying. Yeah, it got a little scary after that. <laughs> Your front end was just wandering. <laughs> yeah. And likes to be an airplane. I was saying thing with my, well, my Nova. When me and Ryan were racing down the highway. Done. Oh. It was all done. Everything put back together. All you have to do, all you have to do now is install it in the car. Oops. Screws left over. Oh. Uh -oh. Well. Don't need them. Extra parts, just like IKEA furniture. Don't you get an extra screw? Yeah, you do. There's some extra screws. Yeah, so the only difficult part is probably that lathe, grinding that down on a lathe. Uh, that would be the only difficult part in this whole installation. Uh, any kind of coffee on your hose? Go in the garage. Okay. You're online, oh, Chris. Uh, that's good. There's a. Actually working the, pretty good here. Putting the pan back on, everything else is in. I'll bet that New gasket. Hopefully it's a new gasket. Hopefully. I hope. Chris is doing a wonderful job on my transmission. Hey, I think we got everything uh, up the fluid snuff, so I'm gonna go uh, test it out, see if it actually does what it's supposed to. I know, I gotta fix that in there. Tractor, for the people that don't know. Mm -hmm.
That part I can't step on because the curb's sort of whack. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, and we don't want to break the transmission the no. first day. Getting tired of it. Well, the speedo's working. Oh, right on. Might, it's a little dark because it's uh, getting dark outside, but yeah, I fixed the speedo. I fixed the speedo. use my wiper to make the window dirty. <laughs> mm, yeah, it'll probably make the... thing sat for about almost a year. Just downshift it to well to two, and then you downshift it to work one. Okay. Keep working on it. Yeah, we're not going super fast, but yeah. Well, we did not kick. Yeah. It, and the third is beautiful. Yeah. Actually, that's even better than the last one. I never had the kick in the drive. Mm -hmm. it from uh, first to second, you did the kick. Right. I'm very happy I did it. So I wonder if I can just leave it and we'll shift by itself. Or do I have to manually shift all of it? No, you should have built it. So now it's in second already. good from now on hopefully for the life of the car that'd be nice uh, so if you like this subscribe share like it leave a comment and we'll get back to you and I think Corey's driving a bike bicycle up there Perfect. Get the car away. Yeah. It works. <laughs>